I'm standing about the spot where this teenage victim stopped his car after he was shot, only a few feet from actually driving into the lobby of the Stewart Police Department. Now, investigators here are looking for that shooter, while the victim's mother tells us she knows she's lucky that her son wasn't killed. It went from the back. Right Cammie Mitchell showed us the bullet hole in her son Antoine's car, left behind by the shot that hit Antoine in the head as he was driving. It was grazed from the, went straight through the dread, hit his top, you know, hit his scalp, and I'm just grateful and thankful he's alive. It happened Sunday afternoon around 5 p.m. in the 300 block of Martin Luther King Boulevard in Stewart. Antoine told his mother he had just left the beach and was heading home. He noticed that somebody was following him. He went over the railroad tracks and they started shooting at him. He kept going straight. He drove straight to the police department. In fact, in his rush to get help, he almost drove straight into the police department, stopping just before the front door. Police helped get Antoine to the hospital where he was treated for the wound to his head. Antoine wears the number one for the Martin County High School football team. He's in his senior year there and just got the car right before school started. Cammy says Antoine plans to skip this week's game as he recovers. She says he's doing okay physically, but is still very shaken by what happened. He was just saying like, Mom, well, my thought was, why are they shooting at me? What I did, I didn't do nothing. You know, he don't hang out. He just, he's just a good kid. So far, Stewart police have not made any arrest in this case. They say their investigation is ongoing. In Stewart, Ari Height, WPBF 25 News.